All right, first and foremost, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai. It's your brother, Chief Priest, Allah's Arban Lawyer, a.k.a. the Gorilla Hebrew, the Sakari. And uh, I'm just here, of course, as the title says, too. Uh, address is due, Ryan Dalton, once and for all. Um, you know, frankly, you know, he he's juvenile. Um, he's playing a lot of games. And, you know, we're just going to let the Scripture speak and let, you know, the conversation that he and I had in the unedited, unadulterated audio of it speak for itself. I mean, you know, Most High and Yasharala, y'all be the judge at the end of the day. Um, so just just backtracking again, um, you know, the the how this all started. Somebody tagged Deacon and was trying to encourage Deacon to engage Ron Dalton in a debate when Ron Dalton was calling out people who, you know, are in contrary other beliefs and ideologies um, like Islam, Kemet, et cetera. Um, instead of taking that bait, um, Deacon, you know, just bigged up and encouraged the brother, um, you know, for his crusade against non-believers. Um, in response to that, Ron Dalton immediately began to engage in a typing debate with Deacon in regards to uh, us identifying the Caucasian race in general as the Edomites. Um, and this is predicated upon previous talks that Deacon had with him and with others in regards to him debating us on that topic, which never came to fruition. Right. In response to that, Deacon tells him to go live um, because everybody knows that's what we do. Um, he's now trying to paint a narrative as if somebody's running from a debate when all he would ever have to do is click that link. We drop, especially the deacon drops hit the link to join his live three to four times a week. How are we running if anybody can click that link? Doesn't make sense. We're going to further, uh, you know, examine that though. So, but instead of, he says, no, he ain't just going live with us on YouTube. He wants to do this in person you know, on an academic level, on a Harvard or Yale style debate. We agreed to that, right? So watch this. First Peter 5 and 5, likewise, ye younger, right? He's older than us, even though not in the knowledge, because we've likely been in this knowledge. As far as I know, I've been in the knowledge longer than Ron Dalton, but he is an older man than myself or than Deacon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you, that's elder and younger, be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for the most high resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Right. So we, of course, took the humble approach and, and in the spirit of this scripture, submitted ourselves to the elder. And when he made the request of wanting to do it in person and not wanting to simply do a YouTube live, we submitted to that request. But he didn't humble himself and understand the rest of the scripture which says, yea, all of you subject one to another. So we subjugated ourselves to your initial demand, but you did not subjugate yourself to our initial demand, showing that he is not in the spirit of humility and the most highs against him and resisting him because he's in the spirit of pride and what he has to be proud or lifted up about. I don't even understand. Um, it, it, you know, it's beyond me, but you know, our, demand after he made a demand was simple. Okay, if we're going to do it in person, let's do it at our building in Atlanta. We brought up various factors that would uh, coincide with that, i.e. like COVID, difficulty to get facilities. Those were just cherries on top. The fact is you made a demand and we made a demand. And the, and the COVID thing we brought up because he tried to spin a narrative as if we, we didn't want to travel because of COVID. But he's like, oh, look, they're traveling. We don't care about COVID. We're not scared of no Rona. That's that's not what's going on. The thing is, facilities in, in a lot of areas have been difficult to acquire because the people who run these facilities don't want large gatherings because they're scared of COVID or they want to implement social distancing measures and, you know, things of that nature. That's the only reason we brought that up. Well, he goes, well, I got a building in Detroit and I can get 200 people in there, et cetera, et cetera. But the fact is that that's irrelevant, right? Because you have already made an initial demand 
and we're making an initial demand. It's that simple. So if, if you're dealing in the spirit of humility and things of that nature, then that that we should all be able to come to a mutual agreement. But the, the man had no intentions whatsoever of coming to said mutual agreement. Um, he just wanted it to be his way or the highway. And frankly, he doesn't have enough clout or bargaining chips or been as active or done enough work in the community to act like it's his way or the highway, right? When you deal with um, certain elders and, and people we know have been in this community putting in work for 20 and 30 years, I can certainly see them doing it uh uh this is my way or the highway a um you know the 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 Johannes of the world the Nathanielas of the world the Tahars of the world you know what I'm saying brothers like that you know who you know have have built large congregations have been active in this community for decades um you know and of course there's others um I, I could certainly see them saying listen you y'all gonna have to come to terms with us or there ain't gonna be no terms I could certainly see that and, and I don't believe that's unreasonable. Um, I believe that's a spot that brothers have earned. Um, but him, no. And I don't even look at myself like that, um, even though I, I could, um, as active as we've been in the community, uh, through the spirit of the Most High, as much as we've debated and proven ourselves through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in the arena of debates, um, certainly, but no. Okay, you want to do it? All right, we'll submit ourselves to that. But we are subject one to another. So you have to submit yourselves to our request now. But you don't want to do that. Um, but in the midst of all this, he makes a very inflammatory post on Instagram. Um, here's the post. Unfortunately, because the way this Instagram on mobile is set up, I can't actually read it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it off of my phone. I'm going to read it off of my phone um, so y'all can see. And, 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 and this presented a problem in negotiating terms of, of, of this debate. Uh, here's, here's the same post as y'all can see, same picture, right? So I'm going to just read it and, um, you know, we're just going to deal with, it, with a few things. So it says, Guerrilla Hebrew, the leader of the Israelite camp, Sakari, called himself calling out Ron Dalton as a house Negro on their YouTube channel. But is Gorilla Hebrew even a Negro? Is he Arabic or Afghani? Nobody has seen his father picture side to side with his picture or his paternal grandfather's picture. He claims to be Haitian, but I have never seen a Haitian that looks like an Arab. Uh, what is his real name? Does he have a French name like Jean Thierry or a French last name? Has anyone heard him speak Creole? Every Haitian I know looks Negro and can speak Creole. My great grandparents were slaves in Roanoke and Martinsville, Virginia, and possibly in South Carolina, seeing they have a Dalton plantation there. The pics here in this post show my mom and dad together. My boom, boom. So I'm, I'm going to skip that part about him. And then he goes, going back to the 1800s, my paternal grandfather's are Negroes. What about Gorilla Hebrew? We already know he's 50 percent white. But if his dad or grandfather has white in them, i.e. biracial, then that will put him at 62.5 percent or 75 percent white, which, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe he hates DNA and E1B1A research as a band to Israelite marker, which is that's pseudoscience, which is, that's really easy to, to deal with. But anyway, so again, so he makes a few points. So I respond, right? Naturally. Let me pull my response post up. Okay. So, okay. I can't read my post. So let me go to my post now. And I'll read this so y'all can see how I responded because he made claims. Okay, so I saw, okay, at Hebrews and Negroes, which is his Instagram. Now what? Here's me with my father, picture of his father, proof I have a French last name, me speaking his sentence in Creole, and further visual aid of other Haitians that bear striking resemblance to me. Are you going to repent for your false witness? Raising a false report, of course. Quit the ad homs and ad hominem attack. For your uh, quit the ad homs. This is about debating the info. You're just finding more excuses to run balls in your court player. So I answered everything he said. So he says, "Have you ever seen a picture of me and my was? Well, this is me and my pops. Uh, and my pops, my my brothers. I mean, my brother, my sister, my mother. Right? Again, me, and my pops, and my little brother. Me, and my sister, my uh, little brother, my older brother, who we didn't grow up with, but is my pops' son. Right? Here's his father, his mother, and my uncle." Right. Here's my court order gang registration. 
right, from uh, issued by the state of California, shows my government name, French name, right? And uh, hold on. How do I, uh, Salaki? Let me get my kids. Hold on. Can I play this? Yeah, I'll play it off the phone. So, so as y'all can see, me uh, speaking to Sentence and Creole, so but basically answering every claim that he made. And then to further help him, here's some other so-called Haitians that, you know, look how I look. You know, of course, they have, uh, you know, dark skin Haitian fathers, but all Haitians are not dark skin. Um, and, and this is, and this is what you'll, you'll, you'll see here. And, and then of course he says, no one has seen my father. This is a documentary called Guerrilla Hebrew homecoming came out April 13th, 2019, right? Um, over 8,000 people have seen this video. This is me sitting in my grandma's house. Talking to my grandma. That's my grandma. He's collecting dust. So I watched this. This is going over my, you see that? Or it's my father's musical war. Pictures of me as a kid sitting on this woman's, you know, dresser. And I stand in music. So watch this. Boom. Pictures of me as a kid. Watch this. That's my grandpa. Saw the first class in the United States Army. Now watch this. Let me just show you a few things. But, you know, nobody's seen, you know, any of these pictures. Over 8,000 people again watch this, this video. Right, the same picture I use. One of them. Look up uh, more pictures. Nobody's ever seen me with my pops though. Nobody's ever seen me with my pops though. That's me being the best man at, at their wedding when I was ten. Nobody's ever seen me with my pops though. You know. No, nobody's ever seen me with my pops though. You know. No, no, no. Again, nobody's ever seen me with my. <laughs> Man, I mean, th th this stuff is laughable. And, um, you know, a lot of people uh, ha have commented um, in regards to me not, uh, you know, having to prove nothing. And I understand I don't have to prove anything um, in regards to myself. We already know that Israel knows the spirit, number one, bears witness. And there's no way that I'd be able to function as a leader of, you know, nearly you know, the, the, the congregation I have been as long as I have been and people not know <laughs> that I'm an Israelite. That's that's crazy. And, and, and more so than him saying nobody ever seen it. Not only is that there's people that are in Israel uh, inside and outside of my camp that have sat down t at tables with me and ate with my father. But what's interesting is, as y'all see in the recording, which he didn't he, he acted like he was going to play. He told me on the phone, which y'all see in the video, that he was going to play the recording of his and our conversation on his video, which is nearly two hours, yet he, he doesn't play it. But what's funny is he goes, well, that could be your adopted father, right? Watch this. Oh, my adopted father. All right. Let me show you how something, right? <laughs> this is just how stupid, you know, and, and wicked and evil this dude is, right? So I'm, I'm going to cover up this uh, certificate number. But as y'all can see, see that? State of Washington, Department of Health. Certificate of live birth, right? Y'all can see the date, October 31st, 1990, right? So I could cut this number off. You see that? So as it says here, Adonis Christopher Glaude, that's me. October 31st, 1990, St. Clair's Hospital, to come watch 10 7 a.m. Mother Teresa Brennan. You got them, these stalkers, which I believe are affiliated with Ron Dalton, who just made this weird video where they... Google my government name and try to find information and they act like they have they're like some super hackers or some madness like that And they say Adonis God your mother your birth mother Francis Mount. No, y'all Google information is off And my sister's name ain't Aaron either. So Stop all that for those of y'all that know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. That's my mother name, right? 19 years. This is my pops Donald Christopher Glaude Right. Hold on. I got it I don't know if I Boom. He on my birth certificate, right? Washington, 25 years old at the time. When was this issued? November 20th, 1990. He's my adopted father, though. All right, cool. <laughs> Niggas is crazy, bro. Um, 
You know what I'm saying? And again, I understand that I ain't got to prove anything. I'm just proving how juvenile and how weak um, Ron Dalton is. So let's go to the Bible. Now. Back to the Bible. Exodus 23 and 1. Thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thy hand with the wicked to be an unrighteous witness. Let's look at this in another translation. You must not pass along false rumors. <laughs> See that? That's a commandment. He just passed that along, right? He's a, he's in sin. So that's why I said, are you going to be a man and repent on my post? Which, of course, he didn't, which is one of the primary talking points of the conversation we have, right? And I'm going to get to that further in a second. Let's get to Leviticus 19 and 16 first, though. Leviticus 19 and 16. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people, right? A tail bearer. Let's take a look at this in the New Living again. It says, do not spread slanderous gossip among your people. And that's what he just did. He spread slanderous gossip. He's got nearly 50,000 followers on Instagram. And he spread slanderous gossip to almost 50,000 people that saw it. Of course, the algorithm is not going to allow 50,000 people to see it. Um, but, you know, there's a potential of that. And he spread slanderous gossip. He is in direct violation of Torah, period. And he doesn't want to come up off it or repent from it. So we can see the evil and proud and wicked spirit that the brother's in. So let's take a look at this word in the Hebrew, right? Uh, Rakayal, Strong A7400, which is slander, slander, tailbearer, informer, right? So let's just look this up, right? The definition of slander to make false what's like it the action or crime of making a false spoken statement damaging to a person's reputation what you try to do make false and damaging statements about someone you literally are in violation of Torah right now right and you'll see when when we have when i have the conversation with him all i say is bro it's simple it, and, it, and it has nothing to do with um, my feelings being hurt by it because frankly they're not but you are sinning <laughs> you see what I'm saying and, and 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 if I love you like the scriptures say let's go back to Leviticus 19 Leviticus 19 17 thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart thou shalt any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him I'm trying to help you out in that right I follow the Bible and that's something that you have a problem with your scripture um, it's why you barely rely on it um and you rely on problematic science falsely so-called, which is easily refutable. And we have no problem doing that. I don't know why you think anybody's intimidated by you using the term DNA as if we don't have sources that are going to destroy. I mean, it, it, it's actually, you know, in the spirit of the most high, you're an easy plate um, it, as far as that goes. And I don't underestimate. It's not like we're not going to have to have our ducks in a row and get out make sure our research is on point but it's it's not that difficult to do the research you see what i'm saying through the spirit and power of your how about shimmy of course um let him be true and every man a liar and that's our motto going into any debates but read this we rely on the word of the most high principally right and if you don't rely on the word of the most high principally but you claim to believe in it you're going to run into problems and you're going to see how problematic your ideology is when put against the scriptures because that's what you're doing you're going against the scriptures but anyway matthew 18 and um we're we gonna start at 15 my fault matthew 18 and 15 moreover thy brother trespass against thee you trespass against me there's no bearing upon how i feel about it if i didn't like it or if um it it, it hurt me it's you trespassed against me right so my Lord, Hamashiach Yahweh, the anointed, the only begotten son of the most high, Yahweh, said, if my brother trespassed against me, you're my brother, you trespassed against me, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. We got on the phone, I told you the fault. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained a brother, right? But if he will not hear thee, then take thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses may the word be established. But you say you don't want to talk no more. So we couldn't even get to that part. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church, 
which now we're giving it to the congregation. But if he neglected here to hear the church, let him be as the heathen man and the publican. So if now that everyone else sees it and make their judgments and 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 whatever they say to you in regards to this, if that you know if you still don't hear that, then Yahweh Shah told me to count you as a heathen man and a publican. So it is what it is. Past that point, bro. Um, and he basically says he's unapologetic 100% of the sin and the trespass he committed against me. And he ain't going to take the post down, which is fine. He don't have to take the post down. And I tell you, you ain't got to take it down. But if you want to have a debate with us, you're going to, because at the end of the day, it's a respect factor. He wants to have a respectful and academic debate. Allegedly, that's what he's saying, even though he turned it into uh, an SHIT show. Right. Um, if you want to do that, we have to be able to respect each other. If I don't respect you, I'm not going to be able to engage you in a respectful manner and in an intellectual manner in an academic style debate. I'm not going to be able to do that if there's not a mutual respect there. And that's all I was asking you to do for one to follow the Bible, but for two also so a mutual respect is established between us and shows of good faith are established between us so we can actually have a worthwhile and intellectual debate. But instead, you want to play kid games and you're 50 years old. That's madness, right? That's total, utter madness. So that's why I made the request that at least that post came down. And if that post came down to any YouTube video that's attached to or further elaborates on that post, that that comes down for the sake of respect, mutual respect between us, period, right? So it is what it is. Um, let's go now, Proverbs 18 and 18. Uh, Proverbs... 18 and 8, Salaki. So That's what I'm looking for. Proverbs 18 and 8. The words of a talebearer, which he is, are his wounds. And they go down in the uttermost parts of the belly. So what he's attempting to do is wound me. That's what he's attempted to do. That's what that's why a talebearer devises the tales to bear. Right? Uh Proverbs 26 and 20 it says, Where no wood is, there fire, there the fire goeth out. So where there is no tail bearer, the strife ceases. So the whole reason that we're in strife and we can't reach term agreed to terms on having this debate is because of your tail bearing, because you've stirred up strife and you've kindled a fire and you don't want to put the fire out. So that shows that you really don't even want to debate. Right. You just want to stir up strife and then push narratives. It's laughable to think that people who openly put links and chats to public for anybody to click on and engage us on any subject matter is running from anything that's laughable all right um so like it let's go to now oh we're gonna read to 21 as coals are to burning as coals are to burning coals and wood to fire so is a contentious man to kindle strife so he is adding fuel to the fire is the modern day um you know saying the modern day cliche he's adding fuel to the fire he's burning a fire as opposed to putting the fire out and actually having a worthwhile debate and what's interesting also i, I want to note is he wants to debate about who esau is right he doesn't want to but but he doesn't believe in the 12 tribes chart he doesn't want to debate about the 12 tribes chart with us his adamant issue that he wants to debate with us is who the white man is and essentially put a cape on and save the white man. He don't want to debate about who Israel is. That's also interesting and telling to me and it shows where his motivations are. If the primary thing that he wants to talk about is white people and not his people, right? He wants to say, oh, they're not the worst. They're mostly Japheth. Only this group of white people is the worst. What? That's what you want to truly have, which we can debate on any topic, but it's just interesting to me that that is the main thing that you want to talk about and not about our people. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm going to get now to Book of Sirach. Uh, 28 and 11 to 13. Sirach 28 and uh, starting at verse 11. Unhasty contention kindleth a fire, and in hasty fighting sheddeth blood. If thou blow the spark, it shall burn. If thou spit on it, it shall be quenched. So this whole time in this whole situation, you see, he is blowing the spark in order to add fuel to the fire. And both these come out of the mouth. You have the power to do this with your mouth. Curse the whisperer and double tongue. That's you. Scriptures say your curse, curse to you, right? Not me. The scriptures are saying that. For such have destroyed many that were at peace. So, you know, it, it is what it is. He'll say in the... um. 
he'll say in the, in the phone call with y'all here, you know, basically he ain't taking it down. Let the let let y'all let the Most High judge him. Um, and let's just see what the scriptures say about that. Hebrews ten and thirty one it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Abinawi Yahweh, it's a fearful thing, and and he acts for it. So you know, he'll get his just reward for that. Um, least he repent. Last night I spoke to two mutual parties, but one mutual party in particular that said he was going to reach out to him. Um, you know, I'm we're not totally off the table, but our terms got to be met. Period. He, you know, we agreed to his initial term of doing it in person, right? But before, if in order for us to engage in respect, we have to have mutual respect, and that post is going to have to come down. One, number one, because it's a sin. Let's just, it, 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 it's a sin. Let's just be real here. That's the principal reason that it has to come down. And number two, it's disrespectful, right? So if, you know, everybody knows you got to give to get, we all, I mean, personally, I give all my brothers and sisters mutual respect off top. You don't even have to give me no respect initially for me. I'm just going to give it. But as soon as that disrespect come, all right, now, you know, what? now this is, this is gone. You know, this, this is taking a, a, a turn. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is. Israel, y'all be the judge. You know, the brother can repent and we can come back to the table and talk about this. We're open and willing to debate this subject matter. We're open and willing to debate him. Um, but he's going to have to be respectful. He's going to have to repent of this evil that he committed, this trespass, this sin against me that he committed. He's going to have to um, repent of that. I have no problem forgiving him if he repents. Um, and uh, of course, you can't forgive somebody who's not repenting. Um, but of course, uh, you know, he, he's not dictating the show um, whatsoever, though. You know, he makes a request. We make a request. This is mutual. This is compromising the spirit of First Peter 5 and 5. You know, it is what it is. But uh, I got to get to class. You know, we do real work out here. Um, been doing real work out here for a real long time. Uh, so, you know, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How Ba show me how shy say shallow one. Yeah, it's Ron Dalton. Ron. Yeah, what's up? What's going on? Good. You got some dates? Well, we we have to discuss terms before we discuss dates, brother. Okay. All I need to know is what dates are you free well, to do this debate? We we have to discuss terms before we discuss dates. Well, I mean, well, number one, you know, you've made some disrespectful posts on social media. Before we talk about anything else, them posts, they have to come down. Okay, and why do they need to come down? Because they're disrespectful. What's disrespectful about it? Uh, well, the post you made trying to call my lineage into question after I debunked and refuted every point you made, the fact that it's still up, not only is it disrespectful, it's against the Bible. I mean, I'm assuming your feelings are hurt because your questionable being Haitian status that that nobody I've never seen your dad. I mean, I, I tagged I you. I, I tagged you in the post and showed listen, all of it. So listen to me before you even text me that. Nowhere well, have I seen a picture of your, li of your father. Li dad. Listen, listen, that's fine. But guess what? I tagged you in a post with that. So your post should have been came down. Okay, okay but listen to me. Listen, to me. just because you just because you text me a picture of your dad don't mean that. That cannot be your adopted father. Well, yeah, well, 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 well I, 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 ta I tagged my father in. I tagged my father in there, and you could have tagged him and asked him. His Instagram is right there. You could ask him. It don't. It don't matter. It don't matter if you have a picture saying, "Oh, this is my dad." Can't you? Can't you have an adopted dad? L listen. O okay, and you could have added him and asked him like I told you to do it in that post. Does your, if y if I tag your dad, your dad don't know who I am. Listen, it, listen. It, all, all you have to do is ask him. Bottom line is, you know that a lot of people. No, no, no. But no, bottom bottom line is, if that post don't come down, we ain't got nothing to talk about. If 
you want to report, they'll post. I'm not going to report. I don't report stuff, bro. I'm not reporting anything. I'm asking you as a man to do something. If you don't want to be a man and do it, then you're going to be a little ass kid, and that's going to be okay, it. Okay, this, this one, this one, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, if I, I was, uh, I'm gonna tell everybody that Gorilla Hebrew only agreed to do the debate if I take down this post talking about it's questionable. No, it, 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 listen, it, 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 it's not even about it's not even about agreeing to do the debate. It's about if you're going to be a man about a situation. That's what this is about. It's about your integrity. But, 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 but look, but listen, listen, Adonis, because that's your real name, Adonis. If you did a post about me being white or half white, and you said my daddy's white, or you had the picture of me with dollar signs, you could put a, a picture of a clown nose on my nose and have it on Instagram. Do you think I care? Do you listen, think it, I really care? listen, I listen. It, it's not. It, 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 that doesn't matter. You you put. You actually literally are tail bearing in Israel right now. It's what you're you're, doing. And you've been debunked. You are a grown man Mm -hmm. and you care and you care that I question your ethnicity. Listen, listen, listen. Here's the problem. You made statements. They all got refuted. So now either you're going to be a man about it. because because here's, Here's what you fail to understand, Ron. If if you're not going to move with integrity and respect, then I'm not going to be able to engage with you with integrity and respect. Do you understand that? You know, there's a lot of things you guys said, Bro- brother. Again, again, and and it, listen, listen uh, li- right, like I'm right, telling, right, I'm right. telling you right now, if you are not going to engage Adonis. with integrity and respect, you will Adonis. not be engaged with integrity and respect. That's a cop out. That's a cop out. You listen. You, you can know. you can call it whatever you like. You can call it anything you want. I don't care. What I'm telling you is, if you don't have integrity and respect, you're not going to get it. And this thing is going to take a whole left turn. That's a cop out. I mean, you, a, a again, out. you can call it whatever you like. People, you know what? Let me, let me give you an example. Boxing, I, I don't want your examples. Boxing, I told you, I told you what I just told you. Boxing, I, I told you what I just told you. It's either going to be that or it's not going to be nothing. Boxers. Call, call by on the phone right now. Call listen, listen, right listen. Now. This ain't about boxing. This ain't about none of that. Either you're going to have integrity and respect or you're not. But don't, don't don't try to, when you're talking about raising Israel on a scholastic level to have a Harvard or Yale style debate, don't bring in how Floyd Mayweather sells tickets to fights into that conversation because those are two different things. Having a scholastic conversation on an academic level, high on a high academic level, that's not what they do. They don't they don't do what boxers do to sell tickets. So you're convoluting two unrelated things and trying to merge them into one. That ain't finna work. So you either have integrity and respect, or you don't, or, or you don't have integrity and respect, and you ain't finna get it back. If your feelings are hurt because of. Listen, I, I've already explained to you what it is, so either you're going to take that or you're going to leave that. If you leave that, you're going to have to deal with whatever come with that. Okay, whatever you want to come. Whatever you want to come if that stays on there. Go ahead. What do you want to do? Are you going to threaten me? Are you threatening me? Go listen, ahead. listen, listen. I'm not, I, I don't get on the phone and make threats to anybody. I'm just telling okay, you, you're going to have to take whatever come with okay. that. That's what, it. Whatever you, want to, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, if the post don't come down, I'm right here in Detroit. I got tons of family in Detroit, so I'm not scared of anything. I'm a grown man. L- 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 listen, I'm not telling you to be scared of anything. I'm not threatening okay, you. So, so, so don't be so insecure. Anything, I'm just telling you, 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 you just going to have to anything, take whatever come with that. that. You said that anything comes towards me, is what's going to come towards me? If y'all, if y'all going to threaten me? I, 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 I don't, me? listen, I, I said whatever comes towards you. That's it. At the what, at the end of the at, at the what end of the day, you, what you have to understand, brother, is this: you're tail bearing, you're breaking the laws of God. People who do that, death is appointed. The wages of sin are death, and negativity and curse. Right. So you are doing something against the, the commandments of the Most High. The Most High is who's coming for you, not me. Then let Yah, then let Yah judge me. Then that's right. Yah judge exactly. Me. Then Yah judge me. So if if, if that post is. is <laughs> If that little post was going to stop us from having a debate, then that that is a shame because you're a grown man and you got kids. Uh, got kids. You, you're, you're a grown man. You probably got grandkids. And the fact that you made the post, that's a shame. As as an as an elder as an elder amongst our people, you've given a terrible display of how to behave you probably, because you've you resulted in juven, juvenil, juvenility. Look, 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 that's the only you, thing you've you resulted know, to, you know, juvenility. You know, you know what the, you know what the, 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 the double standard here? You said uh, he thinks he thinks he's a house nigga and we the field nigga. He just was around the scene one year ago. You do a post, so I got you got all these dollar signs on my picture. 
it, you think I care? It, listen, it, it, care. It, it, there's, that's not a double standard. You don't have can to. You, 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 you don't have to care. But 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 here's the thing. If guess what? But here here's the thing. And here how much respect. Here's how much. Here's how much respect. Hold on, Ron. Hold on, Ron. Here's how much respect and integrity that I have. Here's how much respect and integrity that I have. Let me finish what I'm saying. Here's how much respect and integrity I have. If you would do that, I'd take any negative post I made about you down. Without, without, listen, without you even asking me, if you would have did that, I would have, without any question, done the same thing. Let me ask, let me just say something. This, last, this one of the last things I'm going to say. Go ahead. You said, you said Ron Dalton appeared out of nowhere one year ago. Everybody in Israel knows that's not true. Well, I, I, I never, I never heard of you David. until, until he Bruce and Negroes came out. I never heard of you. <laughs> that's a false David. Trust me. Hold no, on. It, it's no, not a false no, statement. No. How can you substantiate when I heard of you? Listen. Y'all, Sakari knew about me more than one year ago. Hold on, did so, I know about you more than one year ago? You knew about me. You knew about me last year, didn't you? That's a year ago. And when when, when when was it a year ago? I mean, I don't know. I know the exact month it was. It is over a year. Oh, oh, so oh, 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 oh year okay, ago. okay, okay. So if it's if it's over a, a year, is it more than two years? It's, it's still a, it's still a false statement. You uh, it, it, it's not it's, it's, it's not it's not it's not it's not a false it's, statement. It's, it's not a false it's, statement if you're going to overly analyze the time period of a year. It's still a false oh, statement. Oh listen oh oh listen okay what? okay two years ago before two years ago I never heard of you. You said Ron Dog came out of nowhere a year ago. Oh, okay okay. Well, guess what? Okay, uh, okay. If it was a couple months over a year, if you actually think that you proved something and proven that, no one cares about that, bro. Here's the point: I've been active in this community for a decade. You're brand new to me. Okay, all right. You've been around. Since, you've been teaching and we're the Israelites since 2010. This 2008. Ten years ago. So L- years listen ago. again, again. You're overcomplicating exactitude of years. I'm speaking in general. If you want to oh, overanalyze, right. that's on you. Okay, all right. <laughs> you you contradict yourself. You said 2000. Listen, I'm not I'm not contradicting myself. If that's how you want to look at, it, that's fine. I really don't care. It's re- it really it's really sad that it's really, it's sad, really sad that, that, really that, sad that you're you 50 ask, years old and you act like a little ass kid. Really that's sad. sad. It's really sad. It's really sad that you would ask me to take a post down. That 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 just shows me that that you can't handle the heat and the pressure. I, I, l- listen, if if that if that's how you want to interpret that, that's fine. I've been actively debating and defending this community for a lot longer than you've been involved in it, brother. So I really don't care how you perceive anything that I do. You, you, H- here's you, what you have to understand, Ron. In order for me, you want to have a respectful, respectful scholastic debate. That's what you want to do. I understand that. I would like to, too. But in order for me to have that with you, I have to respect you. If you do things that are disrespectful to me, then I'm not going to be able to respect you, and I'm not going to be able to have a respectful debate with you. This is the this is the whole point that I want you to understand. So if you want respect, you're going to have to give it. If you give disrespect, I'm not going to be able to respect you, and okay, this thing so is going to be something different. Okay, let me ask you a question. There's this, this two questions. One question is, if I don't take the post down, then can I debate Dick and Sakari? Listen, if, if you don't take the post down, you're not going to be debating anybody over here at all. Okay, so there's two. Number Question number two. What post, what post do you want me to take down? You want me to take the video down and the post? What do you want me to take down? Listen, if, if you got the post, the post that you made, I haven't seen your video. So if you made a video that's further elaborating on the post in question that is uh, 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 allegedly trying to come at my lineage, if there's a video that is also elaborating on that post, then I'd ask for that to be taken down. Anything related to that, that got to come down. So how many Instagram posts did you see that needs to come down? I only saw one that I felt like was an ad hominem attack on me. So that's the only one that I'm truly concerned with. As for everything else, if you feel like those things should stay up, it it, it really is irrelevant. Um, I feel like a lot of your posts were done in, in really poor taste, though. But, I mean, I'm only harping on one in particular. When you when you debate people on YouTube, when you debate people or, or talk to people on the streets, do you cuss at them? 
That's irrelevant. We're not talking about that. We, we, you ever, did, do you that, ever cuss that? that, that that's, this is irrelevant. This is this totally irrelevant. If you, do, if you do, and somebody finds it disrespectful, then you apologize. I might. If I'm sorry, I'll, I'll apologize. If I'm not sorry, I won't apologize. So if I can look at your videos and see you cussing, cussing, cussing at people on the street or on YouTube, and I see you, you didn't apologize to them, and their feelings might have been offended, then... They, they don't care. They, they, they listen, 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 that's that's well, irrelevant. You still did it and disrespect somebody else. That, that, that's irrelevant. We're talking about you and me here. We're not talking about anything else with anyone else. So it's okay to do it to other people, but when I do it to you, then well, no, no, you, 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 you can do whatever you want to do. You ain't got to take it down, but if you don't take it down, we not there's not, there's not going to be any more discussion with you and I. Okay, all right, okay. Well, then I guess there's nothing else to talk about then. So you're not taking it down. I just want that on the record. <laughs> I got your number now. I'll call you back. What do you mean you call me back? I'll call you back. You, you said you said if you want the debate to happen, then I got to take it down. So exactly. I know, I, know what, I know what it takes to debate you and to prove to you in front of all your followers that that, 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 that Esau white man doctrine is... is well, what, well, you just want to save the white man and, and, and make some money doing no, it. And we, and we understand... Man. No, it's, no. It's we, 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 we understand it's, what it's, it's about. Actually, yeah, it's yes, actually, it is. It's actually giving them... The, giving yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, we know you want to say the white man, and that's fine. But if you don't have, <laughs> if, if you don't respect, if you don't have you respect, respect, you're not gonna get respect. It's that simple. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's, this is comical to me. So, so it, it's it's it's, it's comical. It's comical to me that somebody with gray hair acts like a goddamn kindergartner. That's comical. <laughs> Look, every, no matter what you say to me, I really don't care. I, I, I really listen. Don't I, care. I I hope you don't care, but you're not gonna be able to make no money over here, brother. That's just not gonna happen. Okay. I, I, Money off of yeah, you yeah, we know. Hey, we listen, know. Every, every everything that you do, you're trying to get a dollar out of. So the let, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not fooling venue, anybody. The venue will be free. I will offer to pay for your place. L- listen, listen, we not, and, and, and we're not, we wouldn't be doing anything at your venue. That's out of the question. So, oh, so, oh, so the, so the terms was you wanted to debate still at your school. Is that what the terms was? Of course, you asked for a debate in person. We agreed. Since you asked for the debate in person, we have a term as far as the location. We we initially wanted to do the debate via live stream. You said you ain't want to do it like that. We agreed to that. We submitted to your request. Now we have a request. Why can't you submit to our request? So your two requests are you take you take the post down. What what what, what 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 hold on hold on. A, a, ain't no two. We only have one request. After you started making these posts, now that is a roadblock to anything. So that would have okay. to come down in order for us to even. You see what I'm saying? Move forward in, in the conversation. And if I if I take the post down, the debate has to happen where at the school? At our school in Atlanta, yes, sir. And it, it can't be nowhere else. No. Now a buyer did a buyer told me that he suggested to you the possibility of it being done remotely, like you have a building and we have a building no, no, and we no, do it. No, that, that, now, that, that don't make no sense. Oh, okay. Now, if you feel like that don't make no sense, now I'd be willing to entertain that. But outside of that, it got to be done at our school. <laughs> Did you, don't you guys say y'all run from nothing? Y'all run from nothing. It, it, it's it's not, it's not about running from anything, brother. You made a request for a stipulation, and we agreed to it. We didn't question you. We didn't argue about it, anything. Since you made that request, we're now making a request. Why can't we get our request honored the same way yours was? Have you? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever said, speaking on the Sakari platform, on the streets or on YouTube, we don't run from nothing? That's, that, that's irrelevant. We're not running from anything. We, what we're doing is negotiating terms of a debate, brother. And you made a request, and we had no problem honoring the request that you made. Zero problem. Why do you have a problem honoring our request? All right, all right, all right, all right. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done here. So I got your number. If I need to call you again, I'm done. I'm done. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video off of what we just talked about, and I, and I don't have to play the recording of the whole video because honestly, I remember I remember everything that we just said, and I, I took notes right now. I took notes with a pen with a pen and paper. So after we got the phone, I'm gonna let my followers know what was our conversation about, and and then if if you hear from me again, then you hear from me again. All right.